Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you another speed build. What's up with these speed builds? Like, I don't even do speed builds, and here's two in a row. Um, what? And, um, I apologize for the lack of updates lately. I am currently sick, so I apologize if you can hear that in my voice, too. Um, I've been coughing up a storm. I'm very nasally, and it's just not fun at all. Um, it is going on summer here, but our weather has been very crummy and just plain miserable. It's been rainy, it's been chilly, um, not summery at all. Um, at technically it's still spring until the 20th, I think. And it's like late spring, early summer here, you know. Um, but yeah, technically it's spring at the moment, but it's just been really crummy uh the weather is supposed to warm up for the weekend though and it's supposed to get up into like the 70s and the 80s so i'm looking forward to that hopefully i'm feeling better by then because i'd really love to hit up the beach um but obviously i'm not gonna go to the beach if i feel like crap because yeah and especially not well and i probably definitely should not take a dip in the ocean if I'm sick, because, you know, the ocean is pretty cold. So, yeah. I mean, I don't live, like, I live in Massachusetts. It's New England. The ocean is cold up here. Um, it's not like I live in Florida or someplace down south where the ocean is nice and warm. It's, it's not. It's cold. Um, and though it does help keep us warmer in this, in the winter because it's warmer than the ocean. The ocean temperature itself is warmer than the winter air, so it will keep us warmer and sometimes we get less snow because of it. Like where other places will be getting snow, we get rain, so. Alright, I should probably talk about the build. Okay, so I am building a house for my Parenthood LP, which I will be releasing soon. I have an image of my inspiration popped up in the corner down here. You can't see me pointing. Why do I point? Um, but yes, uh, I had originally used a different house for inspiration, but I couldn't get the roofing right. So I bulldozed that and scratched it. And I went with this. And I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but it may grow on me while I play in it. It may not. Um, if not, then I'll probably replace the house. Um, but this is the house that I have. Um, it's a three, it turns out to be three bedroom, two bathroom. And I hate, I hate making floor plans. Like, you might see me struggle with the floor plan. I don't know if I actually pick a floor plan and stick with it here. Or if I'm, like, I, yeah. So see, I'm, I'm struggling with the floor plan again. Um, I was gonna... I think I go with this right here, what you've seen for the... Yeah. Um, so it's a... Like I said, three bedrooms, two baths. Um, the bedroom I designed for me and my husband is the one that has uh, his own bathroom. Because I anyway, know um, in one of my houses growing up, my parents had their own bathroom in their bedroom. But... Me and my brothers never had our own bathroom. We always had to share. And, um, yeah, you'll see me. I was like, oh, I'll put a wall here. And then I was like, no, this makes this awkwardly weird hallway. And so I removed the wall eventually. I think I went with a half wall for a while. And then I think I even removed the half wall and just left it like. I don't know if I leave that half wall in there or if I remove it. I can't remember. I built this a couple days ago. Um,. And then I tried recording a voiceover yesterday, and it didn't go so well, so. Yeah, this bathroom kind of has a weird layout, but it's whatever, it works. And I was dying to use those new showers, because I think they're so cute. And, like, just, I don't know about the kitchen either, but, yeah. At first, I was like, oh, maybe this bathroom could be, like, a shared bathroom, and, like, off of the parents, well, mine. The parents room, meaning me and my husband, because this is going to be us in the um, LP. And uh, I made it, I, I didn't, I wanted to make a cat's video of our Sims, and I, I opened up cats and I started designing, and I realized 
I forgot to hit record, so I'm sorry about that. There's no cast video. Um, I didn't go and just use like base game and parenthood in this. I, I went all out. I didn't set myself a budget. I didn't decide only use this game pack or what game pack. Um, I will upload this to the gallery, but be warned there is custom content. There's every pack so if you download it you may not have everything that comes with but you'll have like the basic floor plan and like stuff and then you can use what you have in your own game if you want um i will upload it to the gallery of course my username there is crown lily just like it is here um so yeah now i was like i wanted i like using the closets i like having closets i always had closets and stuff growing up so i'm figuring out ways to import closets into the bedrooms. So as you can see, I've, I got, I'm got i going to put a closet in that bedroom, and then I, I do believe I put a, another closet in the other bedroom. And I didn't go ahead and decorate the bedrooms yet because I haven't, my sim is currently pregnant and we don't have any children yet, so I want to wait and see what we have before I design the bedrooms. Um, I did use the MC command center to check my pregnancy and it said I was having triplets and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So I reset that. Um, and I've already forgotten what I'm having, so that's good because I kind of want to be surprised, but I definitely don't want triplets. So, yeah. And then the, the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room all end up being like kind of like an open floor plan, but I like how it came out. And I think there I was trying to add a basement um, because growing up in my house, we had um, kind of like, it wasn't fully furnished, but it was an unfurnished basement, kind of like a, a semi-furnished basement. And we had a little playroom downstairs in our basement. So I kind of like wanted to do that too in this. And then I'm trying to decide on like a backsplash here. And I think I think I go with this pinkish looking one, but I think I was struggling with it because I felt like it was too girly for like a house that has like a man living in it, but then my husband never really uses the kitchen that much, so um a lot of the times he'll go in the kitchen and I tell him to get out that it's not his place. Joking jokingly, jokingly of course. I mean a man or a woman could have a place in the kitchen. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, you can both use it. Um, but I do all the cooking, so I say that it's my kitchen. And I don't mind doing all the cooking because I like to cook. And then I was working on the island, obviously. Um, I like having the stove over here in the island because it just is like more space. And then I was trying to like use like those other pieces for the island and it wasn't working so <clears throat> I've, I always wanted I've always wanted a kitchen island like my best friend her house they have a kitchen island and I'm like I like this so much I want a kitchen island like ever since I first saw her kitchen island I was like oh my gosh this is so cool I would love to have a kitchen island and so in my house here I gave myself a kitchen island um oh gosh I hope I don't sit here saying um over and over again how many times have I said um let's do a tally let's not though because I really don't want to know how many times I've said um and then I put out that new fruit bowl and I'm just trying to make everything look nice and um, in my current apartment, I have a very, very small kitchen. Um, it's not really even a whole kitchen. It's more like a kitchen rat, and it's just tiny. And then I, in this spot over here where you see I added two counters, and then I put that plate up. Uh, I was like trying to at first I think I wanted to put like a table over there and I was like no that's not gonna work and then I was like oh I could put counters here because I've seen some kitchens like that too and uh, what am I doing now I'm just like not doing anything um 
I think I might have gotten up to get some food or go to the bathroom or something here. Maybe I was talking to my husband. I don't know, but we're not doing anything. Oh, okay. Now I'm putting a chalkboard behind there because I thought that would look good. And then I was like, do I want this? And sometimes I'm a little indec indecisive when I'm building, but yeah. Oh, now we're on the uh, the living room. We just jumped right into it. Uh, and you won't see me finish. I don't think I finish everything on camera because I think at one point I got up to go do something else because my husband was probably like, I'm hungry. Can you go make me some food or something? And so I got up and I did that. And then I came back and I started working again and I forgot to hit record again. I'm having a problem of forgetting to hit record record it's happening so yeah and again we're not okay now we're doing something but yeah I have to cough I have to cough and I'm like try to hold it in because I don't want to cough during the voiceover <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, figuring out this living room situation, I thought I found it to be very hard. And you you see me, I'm like, where do I put the TV? Where do I put the couches? How do I do this? And it was just being a pain. Um, I was considering um at one point trying to build the house that I grew up in. Um, for a time. We moved around a bit, but this is like the house that I was talking about that had like the playroom downstairs and my brother's bedroom was also down there. Um, but I, I mean, it was so long ago. Because, I mean, I'm like 33 now. And I'm talking like, I lived here when I was like, probably like. I want to say like 9 through 13. Um, oh, apparently I'm at in the game right now. Alright, so we're back and I'm working on this living room some more. I think I finally get the layout of it now. I think I had to like, you know, exit out of the game and come back for a little bit. Then I'm, I was going to try and use that new chair from Parenthood, but it just wasn't fitting anywhere. And then I was like, maybe this chair? And I was like, you just used that in a build. So I didn't use it. Um, I think I put in, yes, I put in that little like cushion thing I'm just gonna call it a cushion thing and then I, I put in the new coffee table because I, I had to use a new coffee table because this is a parenthood LP you gotta use parenthood stuff right then you know gotta put stuff on top of the coffee table make it look kind of cluttered and stuff though um, I don't really like the look of clutter um, I like things to look kind of like neat organized that's just how I am you wouldn't know that from how my house my apartment looks at the moment but like I said I've been sick and I haven't felt like cleaning and my husband does not put things back in their homes uh, I like everything to have a home I like everything to go back to its home but it doesn't end up that way Okay, um, what am I doing now? Yeah, I end up putting a table here because I've always thought that a table behind the couch would be like cool. I originally wanted to do that here, but um, that's not how the design of my living room came out. Like I wanted to put like the TV in one spot and then put the couch and then put the dining room table behind the couch and we would just eat there. But it didn't work out that way. But it, whatever. It's whatever, you know. Um, and then so that stays there for a while. But then I realized that I needed a desk and a computer. And so I ended up putting my desk and my computer over there. And then I tried, I wanted to actually have a dining table 
and I'm trying to figure out where to put that because I had to fit that in. Though right now it looks like I'm just trying to find something to put on there. And then I'm like, no, this is too big. It's not going to work. So I go and I find a smaller one. And I push it up against the window like there. And now I'm just, I think I'm going around and putting curtains on the windows of the bed, the bedrooms, well the bedroom and then the, the rooms that I'm furnishing. And then I'm like, what can I put on the table? Oh, and then I found the cookie jar. I was looking for that earlier and then I found it. So I stuck it over there because you gotta have cookies when you have kids around, right? Even though I know it's just for decoration, but you know, there's the thought of it. I think I'm still looking for something to put on that table. I think I may leave it bare in the long run. I, I don't remember. Then I wanted to try doing like the diagonal bed thing for a while, um, but I changed it because it wasn't really working for me. And the color scheme of the bedroom here is what my color scheme of my bedroom right now is. Um, red, black, and white. I just, I like those color combinations. Um, so that's, and I didn't do that on purpose. It just turned out that way. Um, My husband pretty much just goes along with, like, I'm like, oh, I want to use these colors. And my husband pretty much just goes along with it. He doesn't really argue much with me. Um, I always want his input, though, because, I mean, it's his room, too. He should get a say, right? I don't want to be, like, one of those people who are just like, oh, yeah, we're having a red bedroom, and you don't get a say in it. Like, no, he's got to sleep in the room. It's his room, too. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning, and I even went back to sleep after I got up with my husband, because I get up in the morning with my husband to spend some time with him before he has to, like, really start getting ready. Um, I make him coffee, I pack him a lunch, um, and then after he went for work, I went back to sleep, and I slept till, like, 10, which is unlike, it's unusual for me. I don't usually go back to bed. I usually just stay up the whole day. But like I said, I've been sick, so I was like, I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit. I was planning to get up at 8.30, and I, I slept till like 10, so. I thought that picture really matched the color scheme, but I'm kind of iffy about it, like, how, like, the bed comes up around it. I'm really picky about a lot of things, so. But I do really like how this bedroom came out, pretty much. I add like little chairs for a little sitting area, reading spot. Um, I'm surprised I didn't add a TV to the bedroom, because we do have a TV in our bedroom, because we like to lie in bed um, like about an hour before we actually go to sleep. We'll actually go to bed and just lie there and watch like TV together, and like, and I'll like lie my head on his show, like his shoulder, chest, you know? And I do, I do use custom content in this build since this build is for my own personal. Well, not like personal. I mean, it's going to be a let's play, but it's still like a personal build, kind of. And then I was thinking, maybe I can put the computer here. And then I was like, no, they're not going to be able to get around it. They're going to be like, uh, I can't get through. And they're going to wave their hand around. You know, this thing that Sims do. They do it. Yeah. So my desk is in the living room. Like it is in um, real life, because my desk is in my living room. Like my desk is here, and then right behind my desk is the couch. Not like this, though. My desk is more towards like the side of the couch, not behind the couch. I am working on the outside. A little more. Probably add in some windows up there. There are windows up there in the um. Let's see. Now I was experimenting with these custom content windows, but I could. I wanted 
again, I couldn't get it to line up right. Like, I was trying to, so hard to get it to line up directly with, like, the... Like, I got it over here, but then I could not get it over there. So, I was like, screw it. <clears throat> I think I might leave it with those windows, but I'm not sure. As I'm all sniffly all over here. And then I, I'm trying, of course, to get those exactly matched up. And exactly like the other windows on the other side of the house. Because that's, that's how I am. I have to have things kind of perfectly symmetrical or just matched. Because, you know, I, I do think I have some OCD. <laughs> and it's like, how long am I going to sit here fooling around with windows? Okay, so I got those windows. I think I leave them at that. I th probably, maybe not. I don't know. Again, I built this a couple days ago, so I don't remember. Um. Okay, so we're not doing anything at the moment. All right then. <laughs>